Hey guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Human Podcast. Today's short is about red light therapy or photobiomodulation. I get a ton of questions about red light therapy and photobiomodulation. I know it's the rage right now. You can buy red light panels. You can buy, you know, red light uh, red lights for your scalp to regrow hair. They've got ones that look like the old Freddy Krueger masks that are red light for your face, um, for the formation of collagen, elastin, and fibrin in your skin. And then there's the full-blown red light therapy panels and red light therapy beds that are about the size of a tanning bed and can cost you upwards of $100,000, dollars So the question is, does red light therapy work? What evidence is there to support that it works? What are the main treatments that it is effective for? Um, is it FDA approved? Is it not FDA approved? You know, so really what is it about red light therapy that's creating all the rage? Well, I can tell you that um, red light therapy has been cited in a number of recent peer-reviewed Articles. I'm going to go through some of those right now just in summary and then give you the real crux where all of these spokes of the wheel meet the hub of red light therapy. What is it doing for you? Why is it the anti-aging rage? Why is it so good for your skin? And why should you be using red light therapy? And, um, you know, one of the first articles that I uh, reviewed was published recently in a peer review journal in 2018. This is actually one of the older ones. It was uh, transcranial photobiomodulation, which is another name for red light therapy. And it was a systemic or systematic review of using red light therapy in major depressive disorder. And if you'd like, you're welcome to read this study. I'm going to put a link to all of these uh, research studies below. Um, now, this study, albeit was done in animals and is being repeated in human clinical trials, but it did um, find that the photobiomodulation red light therapy was actually comparable to antidepressant medications. And the clinical studies also indicated um, a significant antidepressant effect and very, very good tolerability, meaning there's virtually no contraindications to red light therapy other than I'm aware of um, autoimmune disorders or if you're on immunosuppressant drugs because uh, photobiomodulation and red light therapy can actually um, improve the immune system and strengthen the immune system. So if you're on some sort of medication to suppress the immune system, that would be a contraindication for red light therapy. Um, but there's an interesting second published study on red light therapy concluding that um, in this is the next wave of regenerative medicine tools that are going to be used to actually enhance stem cell therapies, meaning stem cell therapies when stem cells are put into the joints or maybe even when stem cells are used intravenously, which is not legal right now in the United States, but is legal outside of the United States. Um, and then the major one and the one that I happen to be very familiar with and um, recommend to a lot of athletes, and that is photobiomodulation or red light therapy for exercise recovery. Um, this partic particular study found that in conclusion, photobiomodulation and red light therapy not only improved muscular performance, but it accelerated recovery when applied before exercise. Hey guys, I think the most important website you may ever go to is theultimatehuman.com. That's theultimatehuman.com because on this website, we can directly interact with one another. You can give me suggestions for podcast guests and topics that you'd like to see me cover. You can ask me any question that you'd like. More importantly, you can sign up for my entirely free newsletter. It comes out every single week. I write this so I can get the information to the masses on how to live a healthier, happier, longer, chemical-free life. You can also sign up for a pre-order of my book. And if you'd like to take the genetic test that I talk about all the time, it's available there too. And lastly, you can even see all of the products that I use in my daily life for a chemical-free, healthy living style. A lot of people ask me, you know, what do you use in your daily life, Gary? What do you brush your teeth with and clean your countertops with? Well, it's all there if you'd like to see it. And you can, again, ask me any question that you'd like and get my free newsletter theultimatehuman.com. I promise you that information will help change the trajectory of your life. And now back to the Ultimate Human Podcast. So if you know anything about the superhuman protocol that I talk about very often, which is a combination of magnetism, oxygen, and light, the final stage is red light therapy. And the whole idea of this 
podcast is not to make you run out and buy a red light therapy panel or a red light therapy bed. Remember, the majority of these benefits, many of these benefits, you can actually get by exposing your skin to natural sunlight, especially first thing in the morning during first light. But for those of you that want to go next level or you're considering the purchase of a red light therapy bed or red light therapy panels, make sure that it has the following wavelengths, 680 to 720 nanometers, specifically has the 810 nanometer wavelength and the nanometer wavelength of 940. Now, the difference in wavelengths does not mean there's a difference in its therapeutic effect. It just does the same thing at different depths. If you continue to look at the research that is um, published on photobiomodulation and exercise recovery, even a meta-analysis confirms significant performance effects positive performance effects, and significant acceleration of um, tissue uh, injury and repair uh, when used prior to exercise. There are also a number of um, research articles that are cited for post-surgical repair, so knees, hips, shoulders, rotator cuffs, especially in joint replacements and ligament and tendon repairs, medial meniscus, ACL repairs, um, joint repairs, bicep tendon tears. The, the powerful red light therapy beds will actually go right through these bandages and even some of these braces and still embed themselves in the skin. Um, many reports have shown um, a reduction in reactive nitrogen species, um, a reduction in prostaglandins in human and animal models, and a significant reduction in inflammation in the brain, abdominal fat, wounds, lungs, and the spinal cord. So the question is, what is red light therapy doing? What is photobiomodulation doing at a cellular level that is so important? Well, as you may or may not know, inside every cell in our body is a small organelle called the mitochondria. You have about 110 trillion of these in your body right now. In fact, 10% of your body weight is actually mitochondria. And inside the mitochondria, there's a little motor, okay? There's thousands of these little motors spinning around. It's called the Krebs cycle. And if you remember from high school uh, biology, the Krebs cycle is what generates ATP, adenosine triphosphate, the actual life source for human beings. This is how we get all of what we perceive as energy the more efficient we are at creating ATP, in other words, the healthier our mitochondria are, the more energy our system has as a, at a cellular level. Hey guys, if you've been watching the Ultimate Human Podcast for any length of time, you know that one thing I do not do is push products. I do not just let any advertiser into this space because I believe that the products that appear on the Ultimate Human Podcast should be things that I use every day in my life to improve my own physiology. One of them is something called the Echo Go Plus. The Echo Go Plus is a hydrogen water generator that you can take on the go. You essentially take the top off of this bottle, you pour bottled water in this, and repeatedly it will make high part per million hydrogen water. You press this little button, you'll see these bubbles going up in the water. That's hydrogen being created in the water. There are all kinds of peer-reviewed published clinical studies on the benefits of hydrogen water, including reduced inflammation, better absorption of your supplements, better absorption of your foods, better balance of the stomach acid, and it feeds an entire class of bacteria in your gut. Hydrogen water, in my opinion, is the most beneficial water that you can drink, and now you can take it wherever you go. You can go to Echo, E-C-H-O, H-2-O dot com. That's Echo, E-C-H-O, H-2-O dot com. Enter the code ULTIMATE10 for a discount. Echo H-2-O, enter the code ULTIMATE10 for a discount. And now, back to the Ultimate Human Podcast. So one of the wavelengths of light when it passes through your skin, it's not only reducing inflammation, um, increasing microvascular circulation, it's also um, passing through the cell wall and it's going into this organelle called the mitochondria. And as certain wavelengths of light pass through the cell wall of the mitochondria, they kick out a useless gas, a gas called mitochondrial nitric oxide. Now, a lot of us subscribe to the old myth that nitric oxide is good because it's a vasodilator, but there's a horde of scientific evidence now 
showing that nitric oxide is not the panacea for vasodilation that we thought it once was. It actually has, is, has a vasodilation effect and then actually causes a vasoconstriction effect. It may actually be part of the genesis of neural entanglements and amyloid plaques, those things that we see in Alzheimer's and other kind, types of memory disorders. So nitric oxide is not certainly not something that you should be supplementing with, but it's also not the panacea for vasodilation that we think it is. However, when nitric oxide, mitochondrial nitric oxide, is inside the mitochondria, what it's doing is it's competing for oxygen. And remember, the Krebs cycle has two cycles, an anaerobic cycle where it can actually generate ATP, albeit very inefficiently, without oxygen. And it has an aerobic cycle where it has oxygen and can actually generate 16 times more energy. So in other words, for the same revolution, you get roughly 16 times more ATP in the presence of oxygen than you do the absence of oxygen. So we could conclude that anything that actually helps oxygen enter the mitochondria or the Krebs cycle is beneficial for cellular energy. And if the cell has more energy, it can eliminate waste, repair, detoxify, divide, and regenerate at a much healthier pace. So one of these wavelengths of light passes through the wall of the mitochondria. It kicks out a gas called mitochondrial nitric oxide and forces oxygen to dock. So yes, imagine laying in a red light therapy bed and forcing oxygen into all 32 trillion cells in your body, upstaging the mitochondria, giving all of those cells more power to eliminate waste, to repair, to detoxify, to divide, and to regenerate. This is arguably the greatest benefit of photobiomodulation. It's now being investigated for all kinds of transcranial modalities like Alzheimer's, dementia. It's shown some very significant promise in Parkinson's disease and other neurological diseases. And the best thing is that even deconditioned patients, patients that are unable to exercise or have impaired mobility, can get in a red light therapy bed and get the benefits from red light therapy. Hey guys, as you know, I do not push products on my podcast or by social media unless I use them in my everyday life. This is one of those products. Most of us have a very difficult time meeting our protein needs and certain protein sources like whey protein and others can be as little as 20% absorbable. This is 99% absorbable and it has all of the essential amino acids that the body needs to build lean muscle, to recover, to improve our exercise performance, and most importantly, to repair after we have intense exercise. So this is called Perfect Amino by Body Health. It's, like I said, 99% absorbable. It only has two calories. Eventually, the caloric intake has virtually no caloric intake. It will not break a fast. It tastes amazing. You mix it in water. I take this literally every single morning. If you're working out in a fasted state, you have to take a full spectrum amino acid prior to your workout to preserve your lean muscle and make sure that you're recovering properly. And again, it will not break your fast. So the caloric impact is virtually zero. You get all of the full spectrum amino acids. It tastes wonderful. I use it every single day. You can go to bodyhealth.com forward slash ultimate. That's bodyhealth.com forward slash ultimate and look for the perfect aminos. They actually come in capsules if you're on the go or it becomes in several flavors that they make in a powder, which I love. It's flavored with natural um, uh, means of flavoring. So there's no artificial sweeteners in here. So this is one of my absolute favorite products. Give it a try. If you're working out at all, you need a full spectrum amino acid. Go to bodyhealth.com forward slash ultimate. That's bodyhealth.com forward slash ultimate. I love their lab tested products. You can actually see the absorption rate for all of their products. They've got great electrolyte protein combinations. My favorite is the perfect aminos. Bodyhealth.com forward slash ultimate. And now back to the ultimate human podcast. For, for those of you that are a little more vain, um, you may want to look at some of the articles here that um, indicate an improvement in the uh, production of collagen, elastin, and fibrin, a reduction in fine lines and wrinkles. I think there actually may be an FDA indication for red light therapy in this regard. Um, there is a tremendous amount of evidence showing that red light therapy applied to the scalp can um, regenerate hair follicles, um, thicken the... Uh, size of the hair follicle and actually increase the nutrients to the root of the hair and therefore um, possibly even 
uh, reverse some of the signs of alopecia. So photobiomodulation for its downside risk has so many positive effects. If you're thinking about purchasing a red light therapy panel or a red light therapy bed or a red light therapy mask, make sure it has those wavelengths 680 to 720, 810, and 940, as those seem to be the most commonly researched wavelengths. And those are the ones that are proven to remove this mitochondrial nitric oxide from the mitochondria and force oxygen to dock. I think very soon we are going to see red light therapy become the rage in anti-aging, longevity, and biohacking treatments because of its limited risk and its unlimited upside potential. I hope you enjoyed this podcast on photobiomodulation and red light therapy. This is the Ultimate Human Podcast. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, that's just science.